2014 and technology has been increasing rapidly. We have Tesla and electric cars, we have the 4K content and camera revolution, and then we even have wearable tech becoming a thing, especially with the Moto X right around the corner. But nobody's talking about Chromebooks. So this is kind of a filler video while I'm on vacation, but I'll talk more about that in a vlog. But the purpose of this video is to talk about Chromebooks, their spot in the market, and explain why you should probably get one. So a week ago, I bought a Chromebook, and it was a great choice, because I thought, well, you know what, I'm going on vacation soon, school's starting up in a month, so I caved and I bought an Asus C300. Now we'll have some specific videos on this Chromebook in particular, but this one is more general. What is a Chromebook? Why should you care? Why should you buy one? Why am I asking questions? Well, let's answer three of those questions, starting with what is a Chromebook? A Chromebook is a low-powered laptop running a very low-powered operating system. That operating system is Chrome OS, and basically, Chrome OS is Google Chrome. The entire operating system is basically a web browser, but that's a pretty good thing. There's a lot of functionality inside of Google Chrome. You have stuff like Gmail, which are just regular websites. Then you have Google Drive, which is all your documents, Excel sheets, presentations, that kind of stuff. And then you can also get any web-based app or application available in the Google Chrome Store thing, um, which isn't many, but it still can be pretty good. I got this app that loads up a page where I can play classic games like Mario. I mean, it's not much, and it requires an internet connection, so that sucks, but it is something. That's what a Chromebook is, but why should you care? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Or maybe you didn't ask, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Deal with it. You should care because this little Chromebook is the ultimate school productivity device ever to be created. Now, if you don't already use Google Drive for school, start, you're welcome in advance, that is all. Um, but once you do use Google Drive for school, this device is so perfect for you because anywhere you are, you can access internet and your Google Drive, so you have all of your files and all of the internet that you need to research it. And it's extremely inexpensive, which makes it the ultimate educational machine because you don't have to pay a lot of money, you get to access all your files, and you get to do research on the internet, all with a super portable, lightweight machine that does not cost a lot of money. Which leads us nicely into the last question. Why should you buy one? So yes, you can pick up a Chromebook for less than $200 from some companies like Acer. I picked up the Asus C300, this was $250, but I paid more because I wanted more. This is a 13 inch model, so it's a little bit bigger, it has an Intel processor inside, and it's actually pretty gorgeous, but I'll talk more about that in the videos directly about this Chromebook. But you do want to make sure if you're getting a Chromebook that you get one with an Intel processor inside, because some of the Samsung ones and some of the other uh, variants from other companies offer different processors that are mostly used in like mobile phones. I think it was like an Equinox or an ARM processor. You want to look for an Intel processor because it'll be a lot faster and a lot snappier because a real laptop would have something from Intel or AMD in it and not some of that weird Samsung mobile crap. So that's basically this video. I fanboy over Chromebooks being the perfect school machine because they come in at a very cheap 200 ish dollars, are super lightweight, super portable, you can access your Google Drive files, and you can access any web page as long as there's an internet connection. Of course, there are flaws just like any other piece of tech, mainly build quality, the keyboard being a little mushy, and overall speed, it's not very fast as a laptop, but I'll talk more about those in this specific review. Before I finish this video, I do want to mention that this video was not sponsored by any Chromebook manufacturer. It was not paid to make this. Do not worry, this is my honest opinion saying that Chromebooks are amazing. But this video is sponsored by Massdrop. Now, if you want to get some great deals on tech products like headphones and keyboards and stuff like that, use my link in the description, head on over to Massdrop, make an account, and start joining some group buys and get some really good deals up to like 60% off or more um, on some tech products. So go check that out. So that's it. That's why I love this Chromebook. Subscribe if you want to see more content on the Chromebooks. Leave a like because I love you. Thank you for watching and stay classy.